So that's funny. All right. Well, uh, over the break, you know, everybody was, we dropped our, you know, best albums of 22 and we talked about that and everything, but you know, of course, then we went on Christmas break and everything and, uh, everybody else dropped their, you know, albums of the years and their lists, uh, top, top, you know, this top 20, uh, album, I mean, top 20 albums, top, uh, rappers of the year, all those things, all these lists have been coming out. And one I want to talk about specifically is Matt Hoffa dropped his greatest group hip hop groups of all time. And that blew up uh, for a bit. And we missed talking about it. I know it was a little late, but I really wanted to talk about this because he had number one, the Wu-Tang Clan. And everybody Ooh, knows nice. somebody, you know, uh, I've been, you know, talking to people in the comments and stuff uh, already about, you know, on our on our page, on our video that we talked about Raekwon, you know, people were calling, some people, you know, agreed with me. Some people disagreed. But I feel like Wu-Tang is such a interesting group and such a hard one to rate and, and to place in our list, in these lists. Because to me, it's unfair to put them as number one all time. All time group. When they have one classic album as a group right and Mm -hmm. so what happens is people give the group credit for the solo projects so you're gonna you're gonna give wu-tang credit for liquid swords and for only built for cuban links and you know and that's great it's great right if we do that then yes they are the greatest group ever they got you know tons of classics but it's just not fair. They have more individ- They have more people in their group than everyone else. And at the same time, while we give the, the group credit for those solo albums, we give those solo artists, artists credit for those solo albums too. So Raekwon will be in somebody's top 10 list of solo MCs and Wu-Tang will be in someone's top list of, of uh, group, uh, of hip-hop groups. For the same reason, they'll both say, "Oh, they got the purple tape. Purple tape, one of the greatest albums ever." And it's like, no, it can't be. You can't both get credit for both. Either you're giving it to the group or you're giving it to Ray. But we got to stop just bending the rules for this group. Wu Tang, I just feel like we bend all the rules for them because they're so great. But you got to keep treat them fairly. Same with everybody else. All right, that's true. That's true. So your your proposal is to never make. Never put like Ray in the solo MC list because his his albums, especially his Purple Tape, got made by what all RZA beats, uh, Ghostface on most of the tracks, Method Man on some of the tracks, uh, uh, different Wu Tang members on different tracks. Yes, so yes. it's really not his album, even though it's his album and he does most of the rapping on there. But you got you know all different types. Okay, so that's that would be fair. I would agree. Um, yeah, I, I mean yes. So when you're doing groups, you're ranking just group albums, and when you're doing solo, you're ranking just solo albums. He right. does most of rapping on those solos, so he should get credit for that. Most of the rapping. I mean, how how are you rating most of the rapping? He, he Ghostface to, is I on numbers or something. Ghostface like, is on numbers. all but like. Three or four songs, or like three songs. He's on all but three songs, okay? Mm-hmm. And he has a verse on each of those songs. It's just as many, almost just as many verses as Raekwon had. So already right there to say, and then there's the oh, other songs that people. have several uh, features. They have they have the songs that have multiple features. So how is he doing most of the rap? He does maybe he does six solo songs. It's not six solo songs. Hmm. No, it's not. It is. I'm looking at the album right now. You might, you looking at skits or something? It's not six solo songs. List them. Uh, I guess some of these could be six. I mean, I guess some of them could be skits. Striving for protection for perfection. Mm-hmm. Knowledge God. Mm-hmm. Incarcerated Scarfaces. Those are songs. Yeah, the incarcerated Scarfaces. The, the, these songs are not solo songs. Incarcerated uh, Scarfaces are songs, huh? Shark, uh, shark niggas. That's, that's a, a that's spot a rushers. Okay, spot rushers. Mm-hmm. Uh, North Star. Yeah, those are the six. Okay, yeah. So yeah, yeah, some skits and stuff in there. 
Uh, I mean, like I said, man, you, you want to go in and separate them? I'm cool with that as long as people give the credit for the group albums to the groups. So how does that work? So you just want Wu-Tang to be reduced on a group rating. So where would you put them in a group rating all time then if they're not at the top because of that? They got they got one classic solo album. They got two good, let's say, okay, let's put it this way. They got two good solo, I mean, group projects. Two good group projects. If we were just ranking them two good group projects, that is uh, less than Outkast, less than Tribe, less than Little Brother, uh, as the less yeah, than, yeah. depending on, on who you ask, that's less than Bob Deep. That's uh, the same as Clips. I mean... Yeah, people can sit with that, but no. Like, when you think about the other groups, you can't say that they're better than Wu-Tang. Like, it's hard to put... This. I can't put Little Brother over Wu-Tang. I don't care how many solos or whatever <laughs> albums. They just not. They're not over wu I can't put them over Wu-Tang. Like, how am I going to do that? Yeah, impact because matters. Because it make sense. I don't care about the numbers. Whoa. Break it down. Impact, yeah, yeah, Okay, all right. So, it, this is the thing. To me... To me, this is how I this is how I rate every every group. This is the same thing when people because some people discredit solo artists because they only did work in group. Like for instance, Andre 3000. Some people say, oh, he doesn't have a solo album because and so he's lower on the solo uh, artist ca- uh, catalog because or list because he only has done group albums. But to me, this is the way it works. If you did a group album, I'm taking the number of people in your group. And dividing that album by that number of people. It's that simple. That's that's the best basic math for me. So I'm taking Wu Tang, all of their projects, dividing it by ten. That's uh, how much credit you get. I don't agree you divide with that. that by 10. I don't agree with that. <laughs> yeah, why not? That's bad math. How's that bad math? If you got two members, putting them who's, who's the driving force behind certain stuff too. So yeah, this is, yeah. you're like you're like diminishing people like in the group certain ways some people are bigger in the group like chuck is is the biggest in the group of public enemy he gets yeah. like i don't know what the percentage is 80 90 percent to me I, I know you know i know flave is there i know you know but but and that's different not. okay see and that's different because chuck is writing rhymes all the rhymes but okay. for every group is different. Every group is going to be a different amount so in the wu-tang mm-hmm. you're right they got a lot of people rhyming but like that's rizzo vision Okay. Exactly. So he gets some kind of percentage, uh, some kind of bigger percentage than a dude who just shows up and puts a couple bars. You know, like you guys don't get more than Method Man. Method Man is the main no. stuff. Of course not. Of course you not. Can't, I'm not. You, can't, you can't put it. You can't put it straight up one tenth. You're right. You're right. I mean, obviously that math don't, don't work out. You know, uh, for the Wu Tang. But see, I think the Wu Tang is easier to compare to. Um, you know. It's almost like these Wu Tang albums are easier to compare to the label uh, compilation albums more than they are to compare to other groups because they they just don't fit any box is my is the issue that's why they're so hard to place because to me they're more like I, it's easier to compare Wu Tang album to like the Dreamville album or to uh you know to the Good Music Friday uh you know songs you know those type of things because mm-hmm. that's the type of albums it is. That's the type of album it is. I mean, that's fair, but they came in as a group first. Unless right. you count, you know, the early, uh, what was the RZA stuff? What was We Love You, Raheem, and all that that, that stuff before you <laughs> say. Yeah, but so, they, it's you know, not... The family, that's it, but, but it's different than other groups, you know? Like, Clips came in like that, so Clips, you know, count like that. Uh, but it's not a group you know. where the each rapper is on each song. It's not like, say, for instance, Slaughterhouse... Every rapper raps on every song, right? That's the group. The group is four rappers. We're going to rap four. Each one's going to rap a verse. It's split evenly. Work split evenly. Boom, we get a beat. Everyone drops a verse. Boom, that's that's the group. The wu takes not like that. It's like, you know, uh, you know, two people on this song, okay? Three people on this song. Uh, what best? We need a hook. Come come and do the hook, you know? Like, it's, it's, oh, now you get a solo song. You know, like, now you do this. It's a, it's, it's like the... A Dreamville album. That's the like the easiest put it together, man. The RZA put and it RZA put it together. Yeah, exactly. That's so that's like label type like stuff. That. that is like a label. Dreamville is a label, and that's the, exactly what their Revenge of the Dreamers album is like. No, nowhere near the quality. I'm not saying it's anywhere near the quality. Yeah, but that's that is what yeah. exactly what it's like. 
I mean, that that's fair. But that's still a driving. That's the driving force behind it, though. Like you said, that's who have Dreamville being J Cole's album gives him more percentage of it. I mean, I think that's what every group. I think every group, someone obviously has to do more than the other person. Nothing is 50-50. But see, on that Dreamville, I don't think that J. Cole gets most of the credit for it. They even when you watch the documentary, it's like he invited a bunch of people to the studio, and then everyone's just writing and writing over, I mean, recording over beats. And then they just took the but, best stuff that was made out of it and put it on the album. Like that's not but that might have been because of his name. Uh, who doesn't want to work with J. Cole or that's how you get these extra people to come in. Like you can go into all of that stuff too. It's different to compare it too, because of the era and the time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, like uh like when you know Rizza Rizza got these guys together. They weren't exactly you know doing the same thing. They weren't even thinking about rapping some of them. So, you know, he kind of made that a thing. But right. it's not so like then we can give Rizza all so we give Rizza the credit. Kind of the way we give Dr. Drake credit for the chronic and stuff like that, even though that's a that's right. collaborative type thing. Right. So that's mm-hmm. fine. If we gave RZA all the credit for the Wu-Tang albums, it'd be whatever. And then, and so I did want to, uh, you know, uh, shout out um, Vic, uh, Vic, uh, Victoria. I'm sorry. Uh, was I was Maxfield was uh, a uh, commenter that was posting that I was talking about this on uh, yesterday on YouTube. And she, because she posted on the Raekwon video, and she was uh, talking about this very thing. So she made some good points, and I just wanted to, you know, she said that only built for Cuban Links is most certainly a solo album because it was the concept of Raekwon as a soloist, soloist into the thirty six, uh, and future official uh, albums on the Wu Tang group name were the creation of RZA, as their group albums were never completed through a democratic process. It was always RZA serving as as symphonic uh, conductor with each clan member merely filling roles similar to studio session musicians, right? And I think this is a great point, Mm -hmm. right? And if we just gave them credit like that, if we just said, this was such such as idea, it's their album. This is such such as idea, it's their album. Great, then I'd be fine. But if we did that, then we still come down to this. RZA would have one or two great albums, okay? Mm-hmm. Into the 36 mm-hmm. and uh, Wu-Tang Forever. You don't like I, that Bobby Digital? <laughs> 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 no. That would be it. That would be it. Two, and then that'd be it. And then Raekwon would have Only Go For Cuba Links. And then Jizzle would have Liquid Swords. And that's it. But the group... All together would not have would not be number one all time. How do I don't you think put- you can se- separate the group from solo artists though? That's what makes a group bigger too. Especially if your solo artists go out and do something great, it brings more attention to the group. And so that I was think they're one in this. Yeah, that was RZA's whole plan was we everybody gonna get their own solos and do their own solo thing, coming off the Wu Tang, but everybody throwing up the W. Um, and keeping it going and keeping it alive. So it's, it is hard to separate them. I, I get what you're saying. I get your frustration with it. People going to put Wu-Tang, but I mean, to me, it's like they can't be lower than five anyway. Then it's like they, they're going to come in and like there's no way you could put when you're making your list. There's no way I can put like black sheep over them or, or, no. or you know, I, can I, I can't put Pete Rock and CL Smooth over them. Like I, I just can't. I don't care. How it happened? I don't care how many. If I would say Pete Rock and CL Smooth got more classic albums together, you're right. But I can't put them over Wu Tang. It's just not. That's not even like a like a. It's too iconic. Wu Tang yeah. is super iconic, but this so that's what I'm saying. Like because they are iconic. They're the most iconic group ever. They are. I mean, people rocking Wu Tang T-shirts all the time. Kids. Uh, I mean, everybody's. You know, everyone loves Wu Tang. They're universally loved. Yeah, universally. So they're the de facto number one group. Uh, it's it's just so then my thing is I'm happy to give them number one group, but then I, I then I feel weird if we're gonna start putting all of their members as in the top ten rappers too because people want to put Method the top, yeah. you know whatever. Yeah. You people want to put Raekwon in the top whatever. Ghostface right. deserves to be in the top. I mean because he did a lot of solo. He has a lot of solo great uh, albums. But it's you know like it gets it gets real 
You know, like, are we going to have Wu-Tang top group and five Wu-Tang members in the top 20 rappers? Like, that just seems unfair. Oh, top 20? Uh, maybe two or three of them. I mean, I can't yeah. keep going about that, man. That, that That's what makes them great is these great dudes. Um, I mean, but but I, I always hate when we see these group lists and stuff like that, and um, it goes it goes both ways because Q-Tip is not considered ever in tops. And, yes. And he and he leading the to me second or third best group. Like I mean, it's it's right there. It's like Wu Tang Cash Tribe to me. There's always in some kind of order depending on the date. Um, and then he has solo projects that are good and well received. Um, so I, I don't. But it goes the opposite way for him, where you don't see him in top ten lists a lot of times. Exactly, that's my thing. So I I made this exact point to Victoria. Right, that we don't, and that's why I feel like it's so unfair how we treat. It's not unfair how we treat Wu Tang. Let's say we treat Wu Tang correctly, but we don't apply whatever rules we give to Wu Tang to everybody else. So, you like you said, Q Tip had he and he wrote most of the rhymes on the first album too for for Fife and stuff like that. So he and most of that was his ideas and stuff. So he. Got three classic tribe albums. That that newest tribe album is amazing too. So they they got at least four great projects. And it's solo. Uh, the Renaissance, uh, amazing. Renaissance, exactly. And so yeah, they did the vibrant thing back in what ninety nine or whatever two thousand whatever year that was. I and then not, well, and then not to mention the production that he's done on other people's albums as well. And right. he taught Dilla and and Havoc how to do you know. So Q Tip is one of the most impactful artists in hip hop period point blank period but you never see him on a top anything list you don't see hear him in anybody's top 5 you don't you know so people might put tribe as a group in the in that but they we do not give the same treatment we give you know with Raekwon and you know and uh the purple tape we don't give that to Q Tip we don't give any of that energy to Q Tip you know and that's frustrating same thing with Say, for instance, uh, you, you know, like some people want to discredit uh, Andre, uh, you know, with, with uh, Cass. Some people, people don't give Big Boy credit with Cass. I mean, there's, there's certain people we just don't give the same type of credit we do to, to uh, Wu-Tang. And that's, the, that's frustrating. I hear you, man. I hear you. I'm with it. I'm with it. More love for, for uh, Big Boy and uh, Q-Tip. Q-Tip especially, man. Q-Tip should be in everybody list somewhere in the somewhere in top ten, somewhere in top twenty, I don't know, but you see the list and Q tip don't be on there. It's like dog Q tip is that guy. Yeah. One hundred percent. Another one is uh the locks. The locks uh, uh uh been getting a lot of this uh unfair treatment I think too because too much Jay- Jadakiss, yeah. I mean and they because they they wash dipset uh in that versus mm-hmm. but I really think that's it is a low tier rap group. They are exactly. anywhere near the top of rap groups. I think that was a bigger reflection on Dipset and and people and just showing who they're not than it was exactly. showing who you know. Because mm-hmm. Locks have no classic albums. Jada Kiss has no solo classic albums. He's always in top ten list. Jada Kiss is, and mm-hmm. then uh, Matt Hoffa put them as the number two group of all time. That's and a good advice. Yeah, this New York vibes. <laughs> Complete New York vibes. Because I don't know, but they got they do have two of the top 20, 25 lyricists in their group. No. No. As much I mean, as I love them dudes, no. I love Styles. He's not in the top twenty five of lyricists. Yeah, that's hard to say. That's really hard to say. Styles uh, is his, a, uh, and this see it sounds like a diss, but it's not, but He's like a workman like rapper. Like he's never whack. I I, I mm-hmm. never heard whack styles versus, but I also never sit there and say, or, or no, I'm not gonna say never, but very rarely do am I amazed by what I'm hearing. He just does a really good job every time. Shows up, clocks in, does his job, song is good. Um, so I, I don't wanna make it sound like it's bad, but I can't sit here and put styles in the top when I've I've heard better and people reach higher heights as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. That's just that's just me going on my that's my little rant about uh Wu Tang, I guess, you know, they the Wu Tang, you know, it's forever. They're the best. So I, I guess I, I'm wrong in that one. Nah, but, certain heads gonna put, you know, certain people high, man, like no matter what. Like Jada Kiss always gets to me overly inflated. Because we love Jada, and he come on the track and make the, and, and and stands out on the tracks. No matter, I'm what. gonna say he iconic. His voice, his cadence, yeah, yeah. exactly iconic. Exactly. And he got and he always has cool verses on on all the guest spots and stuff like that. But when it comes to solo mm-hmm. stuff, he'll get ranked high. And when you base it on albums, there's no reason why he would be anywhere near the top. Right, exactly. So I guess it's less that I, I want to hate on these groups because I love these other artists. I, more, I want I want people like you to to get. The, the credit they deserve. I want people like, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know who else, uh, Little Brother or, you know, I, I want other people to get the credit that they deserve. Bryson put out his list. It was uh, Young Money, number one all the time. Oh, I thought he said, I thought he said that uh, YSL, Young Slime Life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> YSL. You not a fan yeah. no more? Yeah, what happened? Young Money got a good case, though. They don't. They do. They do. They don't. They don't. Not at all. Not at Nikki all. Ruins How you... it. Nikki is trash. Nikki is super trash. <laughs> don't matter. Record sales. She got an argument. Those record sure. sales. They they do have not, not that do they have an argument in record sales as a as a group. Really? They have a big argument in record. Their group sales. albums have record sales like that. Nah, I mean, I mean, we just talk about the members yeah, Drake think. and Nicki oh, yeah. and Wayne. I mean, okay. we just talk about that. Yeah, individually. You, you count? You giving Nicki props for Drake numbers? No, giving Nicki props right. for Nicki numbers. Nicki numbers is big. Nicki has big numbers. Yes, <laughs> all time wise. I, look, I don't know. I don't. I don't follow Nicki man. When I hear a voice, I'm like, ugh, turn it off. Agreed. Agreed. 